I'm thinking about hooking up with Frank's mom. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's pretty hot. You sure she's a cougar though? Well, yeah, dude, she's a total mouth. Oh, totally. That doesn't mean she's a cougar. Dude, it's totally the same thing. Negative. A MILF's a woman that's older with kids who's still hot. Cougar is a woman of similar advanced age and attractiveness who specifically targets significantly younger aged men for their sexual adventures. For instance, Sean's mom's a total MILF, but she's uber Irish Catholic, and you're more likely to get a Bible enema than a date barking up that tree. Hmm. So how do you think about doing it? Uh, I was thinking about, you know, giving her some flowers or something. Dude! Dude, 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 dude. You can't just go marching in there like some suitor from the 50s, flowers and chocolates in hand. That's like running naked into a lion's den slathered in barbecue sauce. You'll be slaughtered. Randy, if you're gonna catch a cougar, you gotta know what you're doing. Here. The cougar is a beautiful, majestic, and very dangerous animal. And so to pursue it, like any good hunter, First, you have to know your prey and make sure you're equipped for the hunt. The first step to success is identifying your cougar. Now, many young men have wandered into disastrous situations because they didn't take a minute to make sure. First, look at the eyes. A fountain of wisdom and life experience smoldering in the unbridled sensual hunger that age just won't beat down. Next, the makeup. Well tended and up with the times. Compare the latest People magazine. Then there's the clothes, often sensual and classy, but especially trendy and appealing to the young man's eye. Remember the rule of thumb. Susan Sarandon, must abandon. Looks like Madonna, yeah you gonna. Now that we've identified our prey, the hunt can begin with the next stage. Put yourself on display. Remember, to catch a cougar, first you have to get her to hunt you. Here's three basic steps to get you going. Number one, proximity. You need to wave the bait under the cougar's nose. In this case, the bait is you. Find innocent reasons to go by the house. Become closer with whichever friend has the cougar mom. And find ways of showing up looking for said friend when you know they're not there, but she is. Two, the double entendre. Whenever possible, try to use phrases that sound both explicitly dirty and equally innocent and harmless. Hey, Mrs. Stevens. Time to get down and dirty. Wits of math homework. Is Frank home? Hey, Mrs. Stevens. I got some hot meat. Leftover from dinner. Do you want some? Third, the guns. The bare skin gleaming with the youthful vitality that the cougar wants so desperately to consume. Hey, Mrs. Stevens. Is Frank here? Jog once around the block to build up a light, manly musk. Missed a little extra shine on you. And don't forget the double entendre. I need a partner to do some squat thrusts. The last step of the hunt requires subtlety and patience. Never ask, never offer. Never ask her if she's interested, and never ask her out. Never offer yourself openly or verbally to her. Remember, the cougar has to think that she's the one hunting you. You have to play the part of the innocent lamb who's wandered into the dark and lonely woods where she lies in wait. If you're patient and persistent, she will take the bait. And so just remember, iPod, Nano. Identify, put yourself on display, and never ask, never offer. <sighs> oh, gee willikers, Brad, that seems pretty simple, but does it actually work? Sure it does. And the best part is that after she catches you, you get to do all the freaky, depraved stuff that you want. And she'll pretty much go along with it, operating under the illusion that she's the one that's inspired the corruption of your innocence. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> sure is, Randy. And it's all part of clean living. Hey! What the heck, guys? Oh, my bad, Frank. You got next game.